Hi, I'm Jen, and I've got three sleeping kids in a quiet house, so I'm going to make a quick tutorial for you today. I'm working on creating some cards and such for clients, and I have a, a bunch of ideas floating around, but I need to use a clipping mask to make a fun shape with these things. So I'm going to teach you how to do that because it's awesome. Okay, so this is what I'm working on. I want to just make a simple square card with... Uh, all of these pictures in the shape of a circle but that's kind of a pain in the butt because if you want to change the shape you have to go through all these steps um, so some of the options is crop it like that okay so those are all dumb this is how you do it so um, on your canvas use the shape tool here to choose the shape that you want. I just went with the circle, drew it, and then I just copied it a bunch of times and moved it around. I just copied it by duplicating the layer. Um, and to do that, you just, um, let's just delete this one and I'll show you. So you just duplicate a layer, you just grab it, drag it over here onto new layer, and it'll pop up a new one for you in the exact same spot and then just move it over until it lines up. I have it show me the smart lines, the smart grid lines, so I can um, do it right. And that's here with the smart guides. Okay, anyway, so now we're gonna add our pictures. So what you need to do is find the picture you want. Um, and let's just do this cute little turkey of a dog. Um, and first we need to crop it to the appropriate size. Um, I have my circles at three quarters of an inch and the whole thing is at 300 ppi. So let's do this, crop it to the right size. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I like it to be close so it's not um, missing parts of the picture. All right, so there we go. I'm just gonna select all by doing com um, command A or I guess control A on a PC and then command control C will copy it. Let's go back over here and then command control V will paste it. You can see the layers here. So the key with clipping masks is to have the picture layer directly above the shape layer that you want it to clip. So I've got mine right over here. So I need to not only have the layer aligned, but I also have to have the physical picture over it as well. All right, so now what you do is you click Alt or Option, and then click on this little line right between the two layers. Remember, your picture has to be directly over the shape. So hit that button and then click there. And voila, that's it. Throw your hands in the air, do the fat kid dance. Easy, easy, easy. Um, so then you just repeat this process for everything you want to do. All right, so I want to do something a little different with this one. Um, and I'm going to show you just a, another option that we have. So I've just made this cute little collage here. Um, and what I'm going to do is merge all of these image layers so they're easier to work with. So just, I'm a right clicker, so just highlight them, right click, and merge. All right, and now we need to make our shape layer. So let's make a new, actually just joking. I'm going to use text for this one. So what you're going to do is just make your text layer. And have it be the big O thank you. Line it up so it looks nice right there. There we go. So you can see this isn't going to work perfectly. Um, it'd be better if I had a ton of little tiny images, but I'm lazy and I don't want to do that right now. So this is what you get. Okay, so remember the shape layer needs to be underneath the photo layer. Alt or Option, click this little line. And there you go, you can see it's got tons of possibilities. So if I actually took my time and did it right and lined the pictures up, it would be amazing, but I'm lazy, like I said, so I'm not gonna do that. But, so that's just showing you some of your options. If we wanted to change it, because we think it's stupid, which it kind of is, let's make a new layer, pick a new shape. How about, um, let's pick a funky shape out of here, like, um, do 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 beat do this. Draw it on there. Alt option click, and there you go. So it's got tons of useful applications, especially if you're making press printed cards for clients. So um, my name is Jen, and I hope that helps.